Across the borders, the Philippine economy grew at its slowest pace in nearly 12 years in the second quarter as high inflation and interest rates hurt consumer demand, reducing pressure on the central bank to tighten monetary policy. Gross domestic product rose 4.3 percent from April to June in the same period last year, the weakest growth since 2011, much lower than the 6.0 percent expansion forecast. A contraction in government spending after last year's election-driven increase also dragged down GDP growth, which lost further momentum after the previous quarter 6.4 percent and the December quarter 7.1 percent growth rates. On a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, the economic picture looked dimmer after the economy contracted 0.9 percent in the second quarter, the first decline in 12 quarters. That compared the downwardly revised 1.0 percent expansion in the March quarter and the 0.5 percent growth forecast of economists. The country's economic ministers also blame high borrowing costs and commodity prices for lackluster growth, which they said outweigh the impact of tourism spending and investments. Elsewhere, the core consumer price index in Japan, which excludes fresh food but includes fuel costs, rose 3.3% in June 2023 from a year ago, accelerating slightly from a 3.2% gain in May, as widely expected. The co-inflation print also exceeded the central bank's 2% target for the 15th consecutive month, challenging the Bank of Japan's commitment to ultra-easy monetary policy. The BOG maintained its policy of ultra-low interest rates and made no adjustment to its yield curve control at the June meeting. BOG Governor Kazuo Ueda recently stated that there was still some distance to sustainably and stably achieve the central bank's 2% inflation target indicating no change to Japan's ultra-loose monetary settings for the time being. Finally, U.S. President Joe Biden issued an executive order aimed at restricting certain American investments in sensitive high-tech areas in China, a move that could further strain ties between the world's top two economies. The long-anticipated rules expected to be implemented next year target sectors like semiconductors and artificial intelligence as Washington seeks to limit access to key technologies. The program is set to prohibit new private equity, venture capital, and joint venture investments in advanced semiconductors and some quantum information technologies in China.